science has kind of always been there for me. Um, it's always been something that I've been incredibly interested in. Um, it's been a comfort as well because it's, it's always been something that, um, that I, when I was a kid I did fairly well in and my parents would give me little um, you know, chemistry sets when you're growing up and I had a little microscope. And um, so it's just one of those things that I think has always been a big presence in my life. So um, originally I'm from a really tiny town in Tennessee um, and science has always been something that I've been really interested in. It was only natural when I went to university, I, um, I wanted to do something science related, um, but I wasn't quite sure, I was a bit of a lost soul, but um, I ended up doing um, a nutrition degree and I thought that was fabulous because you can get a little bit of science, uh, you know, hard science, a little bit of practical application. On a whim I applied to a microbiology um, lab. Um, because I thought that the lab environment looked incredibly just welcoming and it looked like a really nice place to work. It also, um, it's the host and pathogen interaction lab, so I loved the idea of taking um, the pathogens and then looking at it in host perspective rather than in isolation. Um, so I applied for that and was lucky enough to get, to get the funding to go towards there and I guess the rest is history. So I would say that my favorite microbe is um, the one that I focused my PhD on, which has been um, the, the family of fungi that belong to mucorales. So they cause um, fatal mucormycosis in susceptible individuals. Um, and this is really important because while this is considered a rare disease, um, these people that are getting this disease are really suffering. And if this becomes disseminated, so it becomes spread throughout the body, there's a, almost a 100% chance that they will pass away. And it's a, um, it's a necrotizing illness. So, um, so it's incredibly painful um, for these people that are undergoing it. And there's not many antifungals that can actually tackle that. So I think that's, that's my favorite at the moment because I think that um, there's so much out there that needs to be studied that it's such a promising field um, at the moment. So I, fi I find it really interesting.